okay comparing quantities uh, the quantity can be a height distance or number of items so here you are comparing height of hina with amir hina to amir comparison hina is 150 cm and amir is 75 cm okay hina to amir so hina comes first so top it is 150 cm on the denominator bottom is 75 so after simplification you will get 2 uh, similarly if you say amir to hina then amir comes first 70 by by 150 that is 1 by 2 so hina is two times taller than amir amir height is 1 by 2 of the hina height okay similarly you can do for the other comparisons so the important here is when we compare uh, both the quantities should have the same unit here 150 cm 75 cm both uh, units are in cm so uh as a unit should be same so 150 uh, is to 75 it is read as like this 2 is to 1 the ratio is 2 is to 1 okay uh, to compare the two quantities the unit must be same here find the ratio of the 3 km to 300 meters so one is given in kilometer other is given in meter so you have to convert this kilometer to meter to make both the units same so 1 kilometer equal to 1000 meter so now we have 3000 meter 3 kilometer become 3000 meter so 3000 is to 300 is 10 is to 1 that is 3000 is 10 times 300 equivalent ratios or the ratios 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 3 are equivalent so 1 is to 2 is written at 1 by 2 2 is 3 2 by 3 now the denominator is denominator is not same one denominator is 2 other denominator is 3 so you have to find the lcm so that you will get a common denominator and then you can compare so 1 by 2 becomes 3 by 6 6 is the lcm here 1 by 2 become 3 by 6 2 by 3 becomes 4 by 6 now we have a common denominator so now we can compare 3 1 is 3 by 6 other is 4 by 6 so they are not equal similarly the same thing we can apply here uh, but here in this uh, win and loss so they won 8 games and lost 2 games 8 by 2 one four games lost two so here the bottom 8 by 2 4 by 2 the denominator is same so you don't have to find the lcm here so you can say to me say the last year this last year performance is better no lcm here so now when we come across a such a division like this 4.5 is to 3 we have a decimal point here so if you don't know how to divide this then you can multiply by 10 and divide by 10 that is multiply 4.5 into 10 and uh, denominator 3 into 10 4.5 into 10 45 3 into 10 30 okay then after simplification it become 3 by 2 that is uh, it is divisible by 3 3 Uh, 15 sir 45 two 15 sir 30 if you don't know the division by long number first you can divide by let's say 5 when you divide 5 by 45 then you will get uh, 9 and then uh, 3 9 by 6 it will come then again you divide by 3 so 9 by 6 will become 3 by 2 so here like Um, if you don't know how to divide by larger number like 15 then first divide by 5 then again divide by 3 we also learned that the method is earlier classes on a unitary method in which we find that the value of the one unit then the value of the required number of unit so here is the example a map is given with the scale of 2 cm that is 2 cm of the map cover 1000 km what is the actual distance between the two places 
in kilometer if the distance is 2.5 cm 2 cm covers 1000 km for um, 2.5 cm will cover for how many km so these are the two ways you can solve that problem so here you will get 2.5 cm um, 1250 km 1000 km covers 2 cm and 2.5 cm covers x km now 1000 by x equal to 2 by 2.5 okay this ratio when you write a fraction it will become like this now uh, after simplification you get 1250 kilometer uh, here is the same thing is solved only using the 2 centimeter in 1000 kilometer 1 centimeter that is unitary method 1 centimeter 500 kilometer so 2.5 centimeter 500 into 2.5 1250 so there are different ways to solve the same problem so this is unitary method we used the unitary method thus you can see that we often use per to mean for each per item means for each So here you find the ratio of, see here main thing is you have to convert, they are all in different unit, you have to convert to the same unit, here see rupee and paisa, different unit, meter and centimeter, different units, kilogram and gram, they are different, days and hours, so this is the conversion formula, 1 rupee equal to 1000 paisa, sorry 100 paisa, 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter, 1 kilogram equal to 1000 gram, one day equal to 24 hours so you have to use this conversion uh, to find the ratio now the percentage percentage are the numerators of the fractions with the denominator is 100 that is uh, when you say uh, 70 by 100 that percentage is 70 so when you get denominator 100 then the numerator is the percentage and the percent is deriving from the latin word percentium okay the percentage is uh, represented using this symbol this is the symbol one percent is equal to one by hundred that is equal to in decimal 0 0.01 all three values have the same all uh, three having same value okay one percent equal to one by hundred this is 0 0.01 These all these values are out of 100. So you can straight away say the, this is the percentage. So this is total is 100. So 14 means there is a 14 percent. But now where, what will happen when the total is not 100. So here total is 20. To get the percentage you have to multiply it to the 100. So 8 out of 20. Uh, to find the percentage you have to multiply 100. So 8 by 20 into 100 is 40 percent similarly 12 by 20 into 100 is 60 percent so these are the two ways you can find the percentage so this is uh, like it's okay you can use whatever method now since the denominator was uh, 20 she could multiply it by and get the 100 if the denominator uh, was 6 she would not have been able to use this method see here because denominator is uh, 20 you multiply and make it 100 so uh, when denominator is 100 the whatever is there in the numerator is the percentage 40 percent what will happen if uh, the denominator is 6 so you can't multiply with any number to make it 100 so in that case you have to use this method here So this is not 100 means uh, number 4 means it is 40 percent. So 3 30 percent this is also 30 percent. Mala has collection of bangles. He has 20 gold bangles, 10 silver bangles. What is the percentage of the bangles each type? Can you put it in? Okay, you can put it in table of bomb. The total is 30 bangles. 20 bangles are gold. So uh, 20 out of 30 is uh, gold. The 20 by 30 into 100 you will get approximately 66.6 percent. Similarly, 10 uh, silver bangle, 10 by 30 into 100, that is 33.3 percent you will get. 
how to convert a fraction of fractional number to percentage you have to multiply by 100 so if we convert 1 by 3 that is a fraction uh, to a percentage 1 by 3 into 100 that is 33.3 percent it will come so here out of 25 children 15 are girls what percentage are killed so 15 by 25 into 100 so you'll get 1500 by 25 that is 60 percent so from these examples we find that percentage related to proper fractions are less than 100 whereas percentage related to improper fractions are more than 100 that is proper fraction means denominator is more than the numerator so that percentage will be so here um, the denominator that is 25 that is more than the numerator that is 15 so this is a proper fraction so percentage is less than 100 but here you see denominator is less than the numerator improper fraction so you'll get percentage more than 100 converting decimal to percentage you have to multiply with 100 so here when you multiply any that decimal number with uh, let us say 10 so this decimal point move right side one because 10 is only one zero so 7, 0 0.75 will become 7.5 the decimal point will move one digit on the right if you multiply by 100 there are two zeros in 100 so the decimal point will move two uh, digit on the right so 7, 0 0.75 will become 75 two decimal points in which if you multiply with three zeros that is thousand then point seven five this decimal point will move three digit on the right so seven point five seventy five then seven fifty it will go so now the answer for this is seven point seven five seventy five percent this is nine percent this is twenty percent so here uh, convert uh, into percent 3.5 and 350%. Converting percentage to fraction or uh, decimals. So here uh, 1% means 1 by 100, then it will point zero 0.01. See so this is also, if I divide a 1 by 10, then uh, the decimal point will move one digit left, that is point 0.1. If I divide 1 by 100, then it will move 2 digit on the left, 0 0.01. If I move to the 1000, that is a 3 zero, then the decimal point will move 3 digit on the left, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. Sixty five percent of the students in a class have a bicycle. What percentage of the, of the students do not have a bicycle? So here 65 percent totally 100 percent. So 65 uh, percent of people have bicycle means which percent means 100 minus 65. 35 percent do not have bicycle. So we have a basket full of apple, oranges, mangoes. 50 percent apple, 30 percent oranges. What for mango means totally 100 percent. So 100 minus 50 plus uh, 30. That is 20 percent are uh, mangoes. So what percent of the original figure is shadowed? Here this is 1 by 2 because uh, this is this shadowed portion covers this empty portion. Here only half is shadowed. So that is 1 by 2, 50 percent. So here you see this is important. Here 1 by 4, uh, 1 by 16, 1 by 8. This uh, denominator is not same. So to find the shadowed portion, we have to first make everything is a common denominator. That is LCM. So here for 4, 8 and 16 LCM is 16. So when you find LCM 16, 1 by 4 will become 4 by 16. 1 by 8 will become 2 by 16. This also 2 by 16. So you add up everything, then you will get 8 by 16, which is 1 by 2, which is 50%. So shadow portion is 50%. Because when you add all the thing, total is 1 actually, if you add everything. So 8 by 16 divided by 1 that is 8 by 16 this is 1 by 2, 50 percent is shadowed. Percentages, okay. Mm, a survey of 40 children showed 25 percent liked playing uh, football. 
how many children like playing football so 25 percent of the total 40 is uh, 10 so see there is a for see I take a example um, exam uh, example uh, here the exam is conducted for so uh, for some percentage of some marks uh, total marks and the mark uh, you score some marks out of it then to make a percentage you are multiplying by hundred so let us say uh, your uh, total marks is 25 and you scored 20 then what is the percentage 20 by 25 into 100 that is 80 percent so that you will 8 percent in the same way if they given uh, if they say you scored 80 percent and the for the total marks of 25 what marks you scored so you can find that marks using the percentage and the total mark so if you find that then the mark you scored is 20 and the same way they can also give uh, what 80 percent of uh, marks is 20 means so what is the total marks of the exam they can ask so in the same formula they can ask different things giving the other two quantities okay here marks you scored and total marks given the find the percentage here the percentage total marks given you find the what mark you scored here uh, percentage and mark you scored is given then you find the total marks okay same way here they are asking what mark you scored giving the percentage and the total mark so this is the formula and you found that you scored uh, 10 marks okay sorry not this marks not mark here a survey of 40 children showed 20 papers and like playing football so how many children like playing football there are 10 children like playing football so you use this like this here there are two methods they are applying to find out the 10 so you can go through it all the things okay percentage problem i showed you uh, rahul bought a sweater and saved 200 okay and a discount of 20 percent mm, so find the price okay see what is given here the percentage is given and uh, the saved amount is given you have to find the total amount what is so something uh, 200 by x into 100 equal to 25 200 uh, by x into 100 equal to 25 so 20,000 by x equal to 25 20 by x equal to 20,000 x equal to 800 okay you can apply that formula which i showed you find the x or you can use one of this method to find out the, you know, the, Ratios to percentage. Rena's mother said to make it least <laughs> you must take two parts of rice and one part of the urdu dal. What percentage of such a mixture would um, rice and what percentage of the urdu dal? The total mixture is three parts. Out of the two parts is right and one part is urdu dal. So to make the percentage, the urdu the rice. 2 by 3 that is 3 is the total part 2 is the rise into 100 so it is around 66.6 will come and uh, for urdu dal it is one total parts is 3 and one part is urdu dal into 100 that will be 33.3 uh, will come and divide 15 sweets between manu and sonu so that they got 20% and 80% that is 20% of the 15 we have to find out and 80% of the 15 we have to find out so 20% of the 15 is uh, 3 80% of the 15 is 12 so how do you find out uh, you can percentage is uh, given so total is given you have to find the x so the here x divided by 15 into 100 equal to 20 
x divided by 15 into 100 equal to 20 same a x uh, divided by 15 into 100 equal to 80 so for solve for x you will get x um, 3 and 12 the angles of the triangle are 2 is to 3 is to 4 the, uh, find the value of the each angle so totally there are 9 parts and the triangle 180 degree uh, 180 divided by 9 so each part will come 20 so this 2 part is 40 degree 3 part 60 degree 4 part 80 so 40 60 80 increase and decrease in percentage uh, here the base is important base should be the original original amount or base mm, ok a school team won 6 games this year against the 4 games won the last year so what is the percentage increase so the original was 4 now the increase is 2 2 by 4 in and that is 50 percent increase find the percentage increase and decrease price of this shirt decrease from 280 to 210 original price is 280 now 210 so 70 rupees down 70 out of 280 into 100 that is 25 percent marks in a test increase from 20 to 30 original is 20 now 30 that is 10 increase 10 by 20 into 100 50 percent increase my mother says in her childhood petrol was one liter one liter or one rupee it is now rupee 52 per liter today so there are uh, 51 uh, rupee increase uh, for one rupee 51 divided by one into 100 that is um, this should be uh, zero zero 5100 percent okay buying and selling there is a cost price uh, the original price you bought selling price with the profit or loss and your selling price is more than the buying price then you make a profit and the selling price is less than the buying price then you make a loss both profit or loss is expressed in positive number only so let us consider this related to the toy we have uh, buying price is 72 selling price 80 and profit is uh, 8 to find the percentage uh, we need to do 8 by the original price is 72 8 by 72 into 100 so it will become 11 in 11 uh, let us say 11.1 percent so the shaker did it in different way like this now you see uh, you can also find the loss that is you bought for 120 rupees and sold it uh, for 100 rupees so 20 rupees loss so now you see loss is also expressed in a positive number only it is not a negative number selling press of a toy a car is uh, rupees 540 if the profit made by the shopkeeper is 20 percent profit what is the cost price so the selling price is equal to cost price plus 20 percent of the cost price okay uh, the 540 equal to cp plus 20 percent of the cp that is one cp 1.2 cp 540 equal to 1.2 cp then cp equal to 540 by 1.2 that is cp is 450 so you can do this way and this way also so the when you borrow money from someone for the interest the money you borrow is uh, is known as sum uh, or principal then there is a interest for this interest for this for every year the the amount you have to pay is principal plus interest mm, 
Anita takes a loan of 5000 rupees at a 15% per year interest. Find the interest she has to pay at the end of the year. See, find the interest. Interest. So, 15 um, for the 15 percent interest for 5000 the interest is 750 750 rupees uh, interest for one year this is the formula to find the interest t or p or uh, p or t p for principal amount that money you borrow this is the rate of interest r t is the time period one year two year like that and divided by 100 this is the interest Now, if manoeuvre, see, for the interest, again, see, from the interest, the interest formula is I equal to PRT by 100, okay. From that interest, we can make a formula for the other. So, if interest it is given, if you want to find out the, what is the R, okay, rate of interest, from the, if they give interest, time period and the principal so this is the formula 100 i when you want to make it r 100 i by uh, pt see how it becomes let us say if you write 10 point 10 by 2 equal to 5 then 10 equal to 2 into 5 okay that 10 equal to 10 like that p r t by 100 equal to i then um, this r is on the right side r equal to 100 i by pt okay so here 10 by 2 equal to 5 10 equal to 5 into 2 is come okay this uh, denominator on the right side is going to be multiplication similarly you can find the time like this 100 i by pr you can principal amount like this 100 i by mm, rt okay so here we are finding the r using that formula so you can find the uh, what is the r so they have given uh, for two years they have given for one year it is 375 rupees interest mm, and the principal is 4500 then r is 8 8 into 1 by 3 percent okay 8.3 approximately 8.3 percent so here is the ptr now the interest is given for two years now they are finding the rate uh, rate of interest okay for two years uh, this interest the one year it will become uh, the 8 into 1 by 3 that is 8.3 so they if you remember this formula you can find out the other things huh? okay here they are finding the time see here you have rupees 2400 in your account and the interest rate is given okay after how many year you will get uh, you will earn uh, interest okay if you there you are going to find the t they are given i they are given um, rate of interest they are given the principal amount find out uh, the t so here we are finding out the principal they are given the time they are given the interest rate and the interest also is given you have to find the principal amount that is the uh, borrowed amount okay this is the summary what you have learned in this chapter we are we are often required to compare the two quantities in our daily life they may be heights weights salaries marks etc while comparing the heights of the two person with heights 150 centimeter and 75 centimeter we write 150 is to 75 or 2 is to 1 after simplification Two ratios can be compared by converting them into like fractions. If two fractions are equal, we say the two given ratios are equivalent. If two ratios are equivalent, then the four quantities are said to be in proportion. For example, the ratio 8 is to 2, 16 is to 4 are equivalent because uh, the 16 is to 4 after simplification it will become 8 is to 2. The way of comparing quantities and percentage percentages are the numerators of the fraction with the denominator is 100. Percentage means per 100. Okay, for example, 82 percent marks mean 82 out of 100. Fractions can be converted to percentages in multiply by 100. 
decimals can be converted into square by multiplying by 100. Percentage are while using in our daily life. We have learned to find the exact number of what certain percent of uh, total quantity is given. What parts of the quantity are given to us as ratios. We have seen how to convert them into percentages. The increase or decrease in certain quantity can also be expressed in percentage. The profit or loss incurred in certain transaction can be expressed in terms of percentages. While comparing computing the interest and an amount uh, borrowed, the rate of interest is given in terms of percents. For example, rupees 800 borrowed for 3 or 12 percent per annum. Okay, so you can uh, solve these problems uh, with yourself, then only you can familiarize uh, this chapter.